Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I want to share with you guys how I accidentally created an overly aggressive fish. So first off, if you've seen my collection of fish, you know that the majority of the fish that I keep are aggressive by nature. I find myself attracted to more aggressive fish because they tend to show more color, and they also seem a little bit smarter than your average fish. Now even though these fish are aggressive, I find that if you keep them with fish that are of the same temperament, you could create somewhat of a peaceful aquarium. A good example of this is inside of my 350 gallon aquarium. I have a lot of fish in this tank that are notorious for being very aggressive and for the most part it's not too bad when it comes to the overall aggression level of the tank. I know most people would expect these cichlids to clash but I've actually witnessed the opposite. The aggression kind of cancels out each other and the tank is well balanced. I don't have any deaths in this aquarium, I don't have any injuries and most significantly the fish in this tank have free roam. A lot of times when you have aggressive aquariums like this, there's a lot of territorial problems. In this tank, there's no territorial issues. Each fish is able to swim all over the tank, and that's pretty amazing. In my African cichlid tank, there are so many boundaries because of the aggression, and the fact that there are no boundaries in my 350 just shows how balanced the aggression is and how almost peaceful this tank is. Now I say almost peaceful because remember we're dealing with cichlids and cichlids these fish are into positions and power and rank and hierarchy and whenever you get a fish that's into politics so much of course you get some problems, you get some disputes, you get some arguments, you get some bickerings, you may even get a few fights but this is normal behavior for the most part as long as it's controlled and like I said in my aquarium it's at a minimum and these guys for the most part are doing well. Everybody with the exception of the last fish that I added this is my Mesoharis feste, also known as the Red Terror. Now as the name suggests, this fish is a terror. However, I picked it out knowing that the aggression level of these fish overall is at the same aggression level as the other fish in this tank. However, this little guy is proven otherwise. He's actually showing signs of being overly aggressive. Now a lot of people use the term overly aggressive, but I believe we all have our own definitions. And for me, overly aggressive is a fish that's just picking unnecessary fights. For example, I have bala sharks in this tank. These fish are in a tank just to increase the activity level. These guys are very peaceful. So any cichlid that bothers these fish automatically are overly aggressive because the bala sharks are no threat and they're no problem to anyone. So anyone that's bothering them is just being a bully. Similarly, any fish that's attacking fish from behind or just that enjoys having fish run from him, that is a fish that is overly aggressive and I'm seeing a lot of these traits in my feste. Now there are a few causes for a fish to be overly aggressive. It could be the history of that fish. Maybe that fish had an experience where it had to be extra tough and now that it's in my tank that's pretty peaceful it just seems overly aggressive. Or it could be that that fish is just a jerk. I've had a few of those fish that just enjoy bringing pain to others. But I believe in my situation with the fest day it is because of the way I introduced this fish to this aquarium. Now if you follow my channel you know that when I have existing cichlid tanks. If I'm adding a new cichlid, I always say it's best to add them when you're young because if you add an adult cichlid to a, an existing cichlid tank, all the cichlids in that tank are going to find that fish to be a threat. I told you that cichlids, they like hierarchies and they like politics. They're going to try to squeeze that fish, that new fish, into the hierarchy. Most likely they're going to try to put them at the bottom of the hierarchy and basically that means that every fish in the tank will want to fight them. I found from my experience that the younger you add a fish, the smaller that fish is, the less of a threat and the lower of a chance of everybody in the tank wanting to beat that fish up. 
And that's the reason why I added my Thestate to this aquarium when he was very small. I think he was like two and a half inches, maybe three inches, but he was by far the smallest fish in a tank. And I believe that that is the reason why today he is overly aggressive. Look at it this way. The smallest guy in the bar is going to make the loudest noise. And I believe that is the case with my male Feste cichlid in this aquarium. He is the smallest fish, but he doesn't want to be at the bottom of the hierarchy. So he's working extra hard to prove his toughness. He's being extra aggressive. That's the reason why he's chasing my peaceful bala sharks. A little fish chasing such bigger fish, it really boosts his confidence. That's also the reason why he's bothering my vieja. That's the reason why he swims and he wants every fish to swim away from him. If a fish doesn't immediately run away, he attacks it because he wants to put fear in him despite his size. And he's working extra hard. He's doing extra compared to all the other fish in a tank because of his minute size. He wants to show that despite his size, he can still kick some behind. And I believe that that is the reason why he is overly aggressive. And of course, all fingers point back to me because I was the one who chose to add him as a baby. Now, I still believe that it was the safest way to add a new fish to the tank. I believe if I was to add an adult fest to the aquarium, all the fish would have tried to fight him and they possibly could have killed him. So I do believe that this was the safest way to introduce him to the aquarium. However, these are the consequences. Now, this guy is trying to grow in the hierarchy, he's not really being patient. It would have been nice if he would have been patient and allow his size to bring his position because these festivities do get pretty big and eventually with his size, he definitely would have had a better chance and wouldn't have to work so hard. But this guy is ambitious. He wants his crown and he wants it now. And that is the reason why he is overly aggressive. Now, if you do have a fish in your aquarium that is overly aggressive, what do you do about it? So the first thing I say is evaluate the situation. How bad is the fish in your aquarium and how is it affecting other fish in your tank? Do you have other fish in your tank with missing fins or missing scales? Do you have fish that are hiding a lot or showing a lack of color because of the bullion? That is a red flag and you would want to consider taking a fish out. Even if you don't take it out permanently, you just leave it somewhere else for like a timeout for a few days, if not weeks. Um, sometimes that can be enough. But for me, I have a low tolerance level of bullies. So with all the stress of me trying to catch the bully in my large aquariums, normally I end up rehoming it. And that is usually the best method. However, in my case, the bullion is because my guy is young. So I imagine that as he grows up and as he catches up in size, the bullion should slow down. He shouldn't feel the need to prove himself. So what I'm going to do is give him a little bit more time. Of course, I'm going to be observant, make sure he's not causing too much damage. But um, he's going to stay in this aquarium. And I believe that because my guy is being a bully because he's the smaller guy, once he becomes the bigger guy, that bullion should decrease. So yeah, everyone, that is the current scenario inside of my 350 gallon aquarium. We have a young Feste that is trying to make a name for himself and he's being very aggressive. And it's pretty much all my fault. Now, before this video ends, I have a serious question. Am I crazy? I just spent this entire video talking about how my fish are ambitious. Now, I've kept many different pets. I have dogs, I have cats, I have birds. I've kept rodents, I've kept reptiles. And never once have I come close to describing any of them as ambitious. But yet with my fish, these guys are ambitious. They are cunning. They are divisive. These guys are insane. But most people see fish as clueless creatures. People look at fish and they really don't think much of them. Meanwhile, I'm in my basement and it's like I'm surrounded by different reality TV shows. So let me know in the comment section below, am I crazy or are fish really ambitious creatures? Do fish really have this much personality or have I really lost it? Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one.